life. And uh, I'm going to say hi. I'm a total train wreck. I, I literally just uh, had a shower, got home. I need to turn that fan off. I'll be right back. Because it's annoying. Uh, <clears throat> I got home and then had a shower. And, uh, you know, I got stuff. So let's, uh, let's just share this out to Facebook or wherever and we'll work it out and we'll show stuff. Let's do it to here. All right, I think it, uh, I think it did it. Hey everyone, so uh, I'm not expecting a lot of people to turn up because it's a sort of unannounced uh, little mini live stream just off of my phone and on my wonky, uh, well I've got a new stand but a wonky gripper for the phone. So I, this seems to be awfully zoomed in, I'm not sure what's going on. I got goodies. I've been gone for three days. I had a delay of flight. Say hi if you're just joining in. Uh, had a delay flight and, you know, canceled flight actually. So I had to get a hotel last night, last minute in uh, the town I was in. And uh, I went and bought groceries because it was a motel. <laughs> it was just a disaster. And then I, I, almost, I thought I slept through my alarm, so I jumped out of bed. You know how you wake up and you go, oh my gosh, it's 20 minutes uh, before I have to leave. And you uh, realize that the, the clock in the hotel room was wrong. And then your alarm goes off and then you're just all discombobulated. So I probably left shit all over the hotel racing to get out of here. All right, so what's here? Cataphract is back. Uh, I had ordered this as a pre-order and then for some reason I canceled it or, or something but I just want I wanted the new copy because uh, oh, look, so look new artwork on the covers nice rule book and it's got the some of the expansion stuff in it I believe and it also has the just uh, the uh, Justinian uh, game in it as well um, which I think is really a precursor here this thing Justinian the reconquest of Rome uh, it's a it's kind of a precursor to the rise and fall, rise the rise of the Roman Empire and Carthage. Uh, you'll you'll probably recognize the well that game those games are hex based. This is area based, but it uses similar movement system and it's got some uh, there's army and treasury stuff that's got to be done and battle results are excuse me done a little bit differently, but I think you could use sort of a, a variant of the Ancient Worlds uh, series to try and make things happen there. All right, let's have a quick look. I, you know, you've all probably seen, I, I'm sure someone's done a shrink grip of this already, but there's three counter sheets and one of which is for Justinian. And then, uh, well, let's have a quick look at that. These counters feel kind of thin, but uh, there you go. There's the Paid, not paid, the leaders, all the vandals and Ostrogoths and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. And then you've got uh, all of the, all of the battles from our from our Belisarius guy. Uh, he was one of the cool generals back in the day. And it's a one sheeter, right? So there's not a ton of counters, which is really kind of neat. Well, it's one and a half, I guess, because you've got this guy here. So one and a half, and this is the naval games, which I don't play. I'm not that interested in them. I find them a bit tedious to play. So reformatted with all the updated ways of doing things that uh, Alan Ray has implemented, which will make life easy. So that's pretty cool. Hey, guys. Mark Matthews and Jester's there. What is up? And Tomas. Oh, we got six people. Hey, guys. I didn't see you guys all pop in. Sorry about that. I would have said hi. Say, uh, say hello if you're just joining. So we're just, you know, I was just having a quick look at this. I don't even know what else is in here. Oh, this is what makes it so full. I'm not sure I'm a fan of these. I, I guess it stops the uh, stuff, the contents bouncing around and it looks cool. But if I take this out and I sell, and then I go to sell it later, are you gonna be upset it's not in there? Well, too bad. It's gone now. So a uh, little route tracking table. We got all our charts and everything. And of course the maps are the classic GBH, GBOH maps. Uh, 
Justinian map there. Let's put these guys away. I, I'm probably going to play a battle from this pretty pretty soon, pretty straight up. Uh, I'll, I'll try and open these maps up. They're double, oh, they're double sided. How about that? Okay. And in fact, this is two battles on one map here. This will be, it looks like a, almost a blank battle state. So I'll just lay that out. Hold the camera back a little bit for you. So there's Saiwan Dara and Tangene. I don't know how you want to pronounce that. You can pronounce it however the hell you want. This is also a double sided one. Oh, very nice. So, Tri Cameron and Calencium. Calencium. Calen. 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 That guy. That's on the Euphrates River. I do know that. It says it on the side. Uh, so that's. Oh, hang on. Easy to do. Time. Well, we'll have to work out how to pull that up later. Um, I always do. The, I always do the G, the the uh, GMT maps wrong. I should pay attention when I open them. Oh, so here's one for the naval game. Oh, they did the update. They updated the water art. I like it. Really cool. Pity I don't play the the, uh, the sea battles. And uh, the, here's uh, Cassilium, I think. Yeah, Cassilinum. Cassilinum. There. <clears throat> There's your art there. Then on your flip side here, what do we got? Uh, <coughs> oh, the Catalonian fields. Ah, maybe this is what we need to play straight up. Look at that, beautiful. Look at all that blank space. <laughs> all right, check that out. I got more here, guys. I got more, all right? So the rule book is done in the non-gloss, which I love, because we can mark this up if you really want to. And scenario book is also, ba-boom, done in uh, non-gloss and then you've got the Justinian rules which clock in at 16 or 15 pages thereabouts, probably a little bit less than that. And a nice box, same artwork from the front, a little bit of clip art, a little bit of regular art. Oh, I didn't put the map in. Oh, dang it. You can watch, who wants to watch me fumble with the map? I did it. Dad, I did it. Let's drop this action in here. So that's a quick look at Cataphract. Now, um, I got a goodie box from Lock and Load. And then I, well actually, let's have, let's have a look at this first. So I got this book in the mail and I was wondering who the hell it was from. And I went through my email and realized that one of the viewers, uh, John, uh, said that he read this book and said it was fabulous and it wasn't John Nolan, it was a different John. Oh, Kevin, wait, don't throw away the insert, just cut it and place it in the bottom. Oh, that's a good idea. Kalina come, thank you, Tomas. Charles, what is up? Okay, yeah, um, I, I need to do a overview of, of GBOH for you guys. I, I, I don't know. I know there's some great tutorials actually that, uh, who did that? Not Todd. Why can't I remember? Anthony, Anthony, Anthony did it. Uh, he's got some good primers uh, there. Anyway, so he said, he sent me this book and he said he learned more about the Eastern Front in this comic book than he did in any other book he's read on World War II. And I thought, that sounded pretty cool. There's the actual guy, I guess. Oh, I guess we'll have to read the introduction. I literally just got it five minutes ago. All right. All this, this, all these tags and everything. Wow, this is gonna be interesting then. Look at all this. And then you get right into the story and uh, I guess we'll learn all about that. And look at this, it's huge. Oh, it's kind of, it'd be cool if it was like moving pictures. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but so this looks like a fantastic read. And uh, I'm guessing they all end up as POWs or something. So so we'll do, we'll get into that. Uh, I will read this and tell you all about it at some point. That's gonna, that's gonna be a project, there's a lot of paper. All right, last thing. And uh, I'm going to uh, just warn my wife that I'm live streaming and ask her not to come in. Just gotta wave the finger at her and say, no, do not enter. Let me get a drink of water.
suppose I'm showing you all my address. Uh, but okay, let's see what's in here. Now, I had a quick look at this. There's a lot of lock and load tactical stuff, but there's a few other things in here that I thought would be, uh, would be cool as well. Um, and the first, the first thing that's uh, made available, uh, and this, this is all sent to me by David Heath, uh, and I have not purchased any of this. Uh, although I do have a subscription to the War Diary, so I'm going to assume, uh, Mr. Matheson, that this is my copy. Don't send me another one, save your money. Uh, so this is uh, going to be the uh, Battle for Princeton and the War Diary magazine. I think what I'll do is a separate shrink grip on that because I want to read the magazine first, have a look at the rules, and or maybe it's not. Let me just check. Yeah, no, this is the journal, and uh, and then I want to I want to uh, I'd like to then do an overview of the game separately. So I think we'll do that separately. Let's focus in on the lock and load stuff. So first thing is Battles in the Pacific for the Emperor, which I'd seen advertised. Uh, and, you know, I had a, I had a discount code for lock and load and I couldn't work out how to use it. And I had this in the shopping basket. So it's kind of funny that David sent this to me. Uh, so let me see if I can get this out of these bags. Let get a little tight. Uh, this has, I think, seven or eight scenarios and an uh, extra map. Uh, in both formats, by the looks of it, 4K map. All right, so that's very nice. Take a guess, it's in the jungle. And so there are eight uh, scenarios in here. Are there one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight scenarios. Now see, this is where I would be putting incremental special module rules versus sticking them in the main rule book. Um, now, obviously to play this, any of these, because there's no counters with this, it's an expansion. Uh, you're going to need War in the Pacific. So this will go into my ever uh, heavier box. Uh, my my uh, uh, Heroes of the Pacific, I should say, uh, box has the uh, has the Atu Islands expansion in it. And it's got something else in it as well. It's got all the 4K maps. I, uh, I think it has 4K maps in it already. But... Uh, so there's a bunch of scenarios here. Uh, okay, so we got Philippine forces and Japanese forces, Americans, Marines versus Japanese. This is clearing the point at Guadalcanal. Okay, so that would be that'll be pretty interesting. And then this is Philippines battle. And what is this guy? This is a Wake Island battle. All right. And Bougainville in the jungle in New Guinea. And Saipan, that's going to get deadly. That's a big two mapper. Lots of units. And then a Guam battle, which is a four map battle. Wow, that's pretty big. How many turns is that going to be? Does it say 10 turn scenario? Yeah, wow. Wow, that's a. Uh... You don't see very many four mappers uh, in Lock and Load. Usually they're two, they're one, two, or three. Oh, this is really cool. This is very interesting. And then, uh, okay, so this is Luzon, and then Palo. Yeah, okay, very cool. All right, I like it, I like it. Pretty excited about that. And then the rest of this, I think, yeah, this, these are all uh, 4K maps. Let me just make sure. Uh, hey, Tony, um, how you doing, man? Uh, make sure you check out Tony's uh, Tutorials on Great Battles of History, by the way. Uh, sorry, Tony, I was uh, had a brain fart uh, when I was trying to remember your name because I was your Anthony on Facebook. Okay, so 4K maps. Uh, oh, Red Heroes Against the Red Star 4K maps. Which one do I open first? Let's have a look at the African ones. Because I've been having a hankering for African games lately. <laughs> From Campaign in North Africa to DAC 2, which I'm playing with Tony. And a handful of other games. Uh, and what is this? Okay, so this is uh, all the different maps that are provided. And they're all printed on one side. But they're all the supersized uh, hexes, right? And they've also, they also update the artwork a little bit as well on most of these. I think. Yeah, 
these are, I don't know if you can see those well because of the glare. Let me move the camera. Uh, yeah, but these are, these are gorgeous. You know, okay. I just love the artwork on these maps. I've played this, I've played one scenario on this map. It's just a beat down for the Germans. This, these are desert, right? But gorgeous, look at that. These really pop in person, that's all I can say. Just, I love the bigger sized maps. Now these, uh, we'll see how they've got numbers here. So 34D, 34E. Uh, this is where some of the, some of the, uh, some of the maps might have had overlays, I believe. And so these are refreshers of those maps without the overlays. Although this looks completely different. So maybe I'm talking out my ass. So there you go. I bet you there's an explanation in the uh, doohickey. I don't recall. There's 34C. Well, this is interesting. And B. And there's, maybe this is the original 34. I don't know. All right. And then there's more. There's a lot of maps in there. Okay. Let's see what it says. Oh, I see. Uh, so it says, um, includes new maps for use with certain scenarios from Heroes of North Africa module rules and scenario book. These map and these new maps are used in place of those called for by certain scenarios. The list below uh, shows which 4K maps should be used to replace the call for maps in the following scenarios. Okay, so there's a listing there. That, that kind of sort of makes sense. And there you can see the difference. So the X maps are the larger hexes. The 4K maps are a new style of, uh, of artwork that are applied. And then there's the standard smaller maps like you saw here. So you can see what a regular size map looks like here. And then you have the 4K map that is, you know, almost one and a half times bigger, I would say, right? with our upgraded, uh, upgraded artwork. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm not going to go through all these cause these are all pretty substantial. Although I am kind of keen to have a look. Let's have a look at uh, this. Now it would be, if I had got this uh, last week, I could have played that scenario that I'm writing up right now. The after action report, I could have played it on, uh, on that map, on those maps. That would have been cool. Right. Let me see if I can get these out of here. Whoa. Without damaging them. See what these guys look like. Good luck getting those into the box, Kevin. So. And once again, it shows you what's in here, what needs to be replaced when the scenarios are called for. Oh, look at this. Very cool. 27M. Let's see, what is that? Headlong Hurricane, 27OM, was used in The Hunter, is now The Hunted, ah! <laughs> That's one of my scenarios that I just played. All right, uh, look at this, this is awesome. These look great. So this one's got a canal, right? Yeah, and this one's a road. Oh, these are beautiful. I don't know if you can appreciate these uh, on the camera or not, but these are really pretty. I love this terrain. I love the layout too. It's very different. Uh, I'm imagining all sorts of scenarios with this. And you know, I haven't played a lot of the, the Heroes Against the Red Star. Actually, that's not true. I've played most of these, but I'm, I'm these are, very different. These are extremely different. I'm going to have to get, the, we'll have to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll do another video and do side-by-sides because I'm not recognizing. This is what this is, I think. Hang on. So this, hmm, nope. So here we go. No, this is different again. I was going to say this is what, what the, uh, what would have been called Eisenbach in Heroes of the Gap, but this is the different format. So now I'm very confused. Unless, uh, no, 
I bet you these join up. This is a, these are two different maps of the same. This has got a hill. This has got a hill on it. This doesn't. Different roads. Hope you can see that. Okay. I can't zoom out for some reason. My camera is not letting me zoom out. My camera's about. My my phone is about to poop itself. The GPS mapping stopped working in uh, in the town I was in, and I couldn't. I, I couldn't get anywhere, so I had to pull over next to a cafe, get into their Wi-Fi, find out on my laptop. Uh, find out where the address was, uh, where the place was I, I needed to go, map the directions on my laptop, and then leave it open. Uh, it's just a mess. Uh, it's a pain in the ass to try and get around town. These maps are awesome, and I have no idea what's going on here. Are these? Heroes Against the Red Star. So I'm confused about what these maps are now. I'm wondering... These have to be the World War II... Let me just grab the module. Now I'm confused. Which, you know, what else is new? Where is... Hang on a second. I'm gonna sort this out. Oh, you know, that's Heroes of the Motherland. What's Heroes Against the Red Star? Well, I'll be damned. Here it is. Nope. Not it. Nam. Here it is. Okay. Let's try and sort this out here. Yeah. Heroes Against the Red Star. This artwork is so different. Uh, it's so uh, that I'm I'm confused. Uh, now I've got only the smaller uh, maps for this, but as you will see, okay. So which one is this? Cornfield. That's the, no. That's not that guy. It looks like it's that one there. This guy. But that's got a canal. So here's the no. Yeah, here it is here. This is this one, 23M. So let's see. Well, besides the fact that it's huge and beautiful, let's see what else, if there's anything else different in the artwork, because that's kind of fun to do. I know we're just kind of messing around here, but just bear with me. Did I say 23M? Yeah, all right, so let's have a look. Okay, so different buildings. First up, can you see where? Was the freaking hell, where's my hand? Okay, so. You can see that the building is different. Hey, Tweezers, what's up? Um, different artwork for the buildings, different cornfields, uh, crops. Artwork for the trees looks basically the same. Although this around the, the, the tree line road is different. The, the uh, low crops are, are different. And then the roads are significantly different. They look very different. And then over here, oh yeah, look at this. This is really cool. And then you've got uh, different building shapes, different building shapes. Oh, sorry, different building shapes there. So that's pretty cool. Um, very interesting. Now I am wondering, okay, so I know now that we have a replacement here but one of the things i'm curious about in uh, this delivery is if there's going to be a new tech chart you know terrain effects chart for these 4k maps because while it's pretty obvious crops are crops and these are low crops i'm just wondering if there would be folks that would ask the question because you know there's always that guy right I and mean, sometimes that guy's me <laughs> Uh, but wow, these, these are so gorgeous and so different that I didn't even recognize them. And I thought maybe I was looking at the wrong module, but I've played this heroes. This used to be called heroes at the gap. I've played this module probably 40 times, 50 times. And, uh, these are all going straight in here because they're epic. Um, and I did not recognize those maps. In fact, I'm going to have to pull them back out and see if I can recognize 
what changes were made to uh, particularly to the, uh, the the township map there. So that that's awesome. Uh, we've got the here's specific stuff here that we're gonna have to find room in the box for that. I'm not gonna pull this guy out just cause right it's um it's a challenge to get him out, get him in and out of the bo uh, the, the bag. And I showed you the Africa stuff, so I'm, I'm really pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna go back and look at these too. I might grab the box real quick. Let's put them in, let's put them in there right there, just if you wanna hang out for a sec. Uh, where is Africa? Africa is over here somewhere. So I've got this in geographical. One of these days I will organize my games, probably. I keep changing my mind. keep changing my mind and I, I, I don't know how you guys do it but um, how do you guys how do you guys uh, sort your maps let me just flip this around whoa hoo, hoo, hoo. We just got off the plane um, how do you guys sort your maps sort your games I mean are you a G by by uh, period by publisher I know I, I know one chap who organizes them by 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 publication number, like by UPC code. If you're gonna go OCD, go all the way, baby, right? Uh, so uh, I like to organize my stuff by era. Uh, although I do have so many tactical games that I at one point did keep all my tactical games together. And uh, hey Braxton, hey Braxton, did you see uh, did you see Cataphract? Uh, check the earlier part of the video out. It looks really really cool, dude. Um, so yeah, I, I like to sort mine by era as well. I, I'm a, a big fan of doing things that way. Wow, I guess I uh, didn't pack this up properly. Everything's loose in here. Way to stay classy, shop. Okay, let's see if I can find these maps. 30, so like here, here's a little map 34D, right? Let me see if I can find 34D in this. 34C, 33C, 34B, 34C, did I say C? I said D, 34D, here it is here. So we'll check, just check out the difference. So you can see the, uh, the the color scheme is slightly different, and you'll note that the the grass looks pretty. The white, the you know rough grass or whatever it is, looks pretty uh, pretty much the same. The rough rough terrain looks the same, and then the uh, the artwork here on on the the hill is just darker, kind of wadi style stuff. And then um, well, this one. The building, where's one with the building? I think the, the buildings are different as well. Anyway, you know, we don't have to worry about that. Just trust me, they're different. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So thank you, Lock and Load, for sending all those to me. That's a, just a buttload of stuff. And now, now the box is full. Uh, and there's supposed to be a module coming out for that. Um, that is Long Range Desert Group scenarios then and some of them are going to be uh, solo scenarios as well so that'll be pretty nifty so that was pretty cool to come home to I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty uh, chunked up about that yo what's up there is uh, wardrobes in the house oh you guys are here this is good to see uh, yeah I, I like to go chronologically in you know by by era so you know keeping all my ancients together but then I run them by chronology, so you know from early BCs to AD, and then World War Two through World War Two, right? And then try and cluster them in theaters. Uh, then, so all my East Front games together, all my Desert games together, all my uh, Pacific era, uh, Pacific location games together, stuff like that. All right, I am. Uh, I'm probably gonna let you guys go. I am tired. I'm gonna maybe go have a nap. What time is it? I think it's five o'clock or six o'clock or something. Uh, 
I might go have a little nap. I might do something. I might get a haircut. What do you think? Son of a gun, I can barely see. Hey puppy, what's going on? And um, and then we'll be online tomorrow night. I'll be on with Mo from Mo's Game Table. Uh, and uh, I will uh, we'll be doing an interview there with the lock, some of the guys from Lock and Load for uh, Point Blank. So I'll be keen to learn more about that. And uh, we'll kind of go go for things from there. Uh, on the weekend, I've got, I, I have, oh shoot, I've got to post that up. Do an interview Saturday early, like 11 a.m. So don't forget that. Uh, it's going to be great. You're going you're gonna to love it. It's going to be the, the guys from VUCA Simulations, assuming one of them as well. He had an operation, so we're going to see if he can, he can make it. But uh, come join me on Saturday at 11 a.m. be awesome. All right, ciao.